Greetings officers and welcome to my review of the SLS-60. One thing that should be understood about this gun is when it's described as a very easy to handle piece of gear, the game is actually not kidding. I have on my inventory the SLS-60 and on my downwards inventory slot I have the Samurai Edge Chris's model which is one of the fastest weapons to have an accurate shot after aiming down sights. As you can see here, it's almost instant. Comparing to the SLS, the SLS is a touch slower but there's a huge difference to when and how they can be utilized. I'm pulling out Chris's again and start moving forward whilst aiming down sights. The weapon will never actually get an optimal firing solution. As you can see here, the red field remains large and if I move faster, of course, the effect remains the same. With the SLS, there is a totally different story at work here. The gun might be a touch slower to get an optimal solution while stationary, but whilst moving forward, the gun will eventually get a string thread kill and you can fire it accurately whilst moving. I'm gonna demonstrate again whilst moving faster. I pull out the gun, aim down sights, and after a brief period of time, you have an optimal targeting reticle. It is one of the very few weapons that we can use in this game whilst moving and not suffer a huge penalty for doing so. The gun can also sport two upgrades. The one is the speed loader that you see on the bottom left and can be acquired by unlocking Leon's desk in the police department. A very handy addition since it can only hold 5 bullets at any given moment. The other one, reinforced frame, enables the gun to fire special high-powered rounds. These very, very powerful bullets are akin to the magnum bullets that you can get on Leon scenario, but are very scarce and valuable so you cannot waste them on regular enemies. I'd like to say good things about this weapon from the get-go, but my biggest beef with it is how inconsistent it is in terms of damage. Sometimes I will be able to down a zombie in a clip that consists of 5 bullets on hardcore, and sometimes I'll need to fire upwards from 10, that's 2 reloads and taking down a single enemy. There is of course always the chance that you will score a critical hit, but contrary to public knowledge and opinion, in Resident Evil 2 the remake, shooting at the head of an enemy actually deals the same amount of damage as a regular body shot, so it's pretty much always the best idea to be going for the central mass unless you require a crit and are prepared to load your save all over again. To make my point clearer, the female zombie I just killed required fewer bullets than the other guy upstairs that I demonstrated at the beginning of the segment of the vid. And here you can see this guy takes 10 bullets to down, I reload again, I shoot him and I will end up wasting around 4 more bullets to finally take him down for good. This is very very bad for your economy and as I said very inconsistent. Of course as I said there is another function to this weapon. In the sewers right after the chest plugs room you will find this safe that you can unlock by inputting a code. This will give you the reinforced frame upgrade and 5 powered bullets from the get go to use on whatever enemy you deem worthy of them. This upgrade puts this baby in a league of its own. Every single one of these very, very rare and scarce bullets will kill a zombie with a headshot, no questions asked. Of course you will be hard pressed to management since you will want to use them on larger enemies but they surely pack a punch when used against a critical point. 
The problem of consistency still remains though. One high-powered bullet will always kill with a headshot. That is to say, you will not always be able or interested in landing those. In the pinch of a fight, you might just want to take aim and fire away. That's where the consistency problem of the SLS rears its ugly head again. Sometimes, as you can see here, it will just take one bullet to take down an enemy. And in other cases, you will be hard pressed to eliminate a single zombie by firing one of these rare pieces of ammunition into them. It might take an extra normal bullet, or in certain cases, a shitload of them. For some reason, the gun is incapable of just consistently dealing out damage. From my testing, I couldn't find out whether or not range was an issue or the amount of upgrades that went into it. Here I have to knife this guy multiple times, although I fired the high powered bullet into it, and then I shot him and kept dealing damage. You can rarely know when you've actually done what needs to be done in order to down these guys and that can make using this weapon very very frustrating. All in all I'd say that carrying this thing around should be a consideration only when you have high powered bullets to spare. If not, just stick to one of the other weapons much more consistent and reliable. Hope you found this useful guys, sub like and share if you did, I'm covering everything Resident Evil 2. Until next time be well, stay frosty and always strive for perfection. Cheers.